or something like that? Or give give me a day in the life of a shit water driver. <laughs> Uh, well, you go pull under an auger and turn it on and it loads the shit water into your tanker. Go drive down the road to some farmer's field. Turn the PTO on and it usually has a sprayer on the back of the truck. Watch your mirrors. See how it spreads out. Go back, get another load and come back and keep going on your line. All you have to do is stay a minute. Just take your time. The clock is ticking. What's so up? Uh, what's going on? Happy Monday, everybody. That is what's up. Lockout Man back again with another podcast interview for you guys. I am your humble host, Lockout Man, and welcome back to the Lockout Man podcast show. Today's Monday, and I'm hoping that your Monday goes super great. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. What's up? All right, well, let me go ahead and get to the particulars. So if you guys like this type of content, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button. Of course, if you want to support the channel, you can do that by anything, by what I just said before, or if it, for a monetary value, hook your boy up with some coffee or something like that. The, script, the coffee link and the cash app link is in the description below, and you guys can go ahead and do that. Well, I am here. Again, with another podcast interview for you guys. And this young lady comes by way of Instagram. And, of course, you know, that's where I, you know, find them. You know, interesting people to talk to. You know, to share their stories and stuff like that. You know how I do it. You know how I do it. Well, without further ado, because, you know, we don't have that much time to chop it up. But uh, she's decided to give me a little bit of it. Without further ado, I would like to welcome... Rock a bit, rock a Billy Barbie to the show. Rock a Billy Barbie. So, hello. What's going on? What's going on? Tell me, tell me before we get in. Well, tell me how how did you come up with the name Rock a Billy Barbie? Uh, well, I'm a rock and roll hillbilly, and I like to dress up and look nice, so it just kind of all flowed. Okay, okay, so you just you just mashed it up all together. You was like, look, I'm a, I'm a Barbie, I'm a hillbilly, and I like rock and roll. Is that? Yes, sir, that's about how it came about. So, how do, okay, okay, I'm... I'm 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 a city I'm a city guy. I'm a city folk. Uh, you know, I'm modern city folk. How how is being a hillbilly different from from city folks? I mean, uh, well, hillbillies typically we go out into the desert for shits and giggles and shoot guns and kill coyotes, hunting as a way of life, fishing, all of the above. We I live life loud. Okay. Without rules. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Do you guys do 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 you do you know anything about about the shine out there, the moonshine, the 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 homemade whiskey and all that? Oh yes, I know a lot of stuff about that shine. <laughs> So when you get uh when you get off when you get off on your home time and all like that and when you get a chance to go home do you do you make your own whiskey? No, I'm a little lazy for that. I usually just go down to the neighbor's house and get a jar. Oh, okay, okay. So you say the neighbors know how to you say the neighbors know how to do it up down there, huh? Almost everybody down here does. Everyone pretty much makes their own version of moonshine. <laughs> uh, all right, Rockabilly. Let's uh let's uh let's get into your let's get into your story, man. What how you got started in uh in trucking and what's your journey so far? Well, I was doing construction most of my life, roofing, siding, framing, building sheds, stuff like that. And uh I actually got a job going up to Alaska to be on a core drilling rig. I did that for a while, and that was pretty hard for 
came back, saw that there was an opening for driving tankers on a dairy, just moving the shit water. I don't know what that's called. The shit water around on the farm. I decided that sounded a lot easier than what I had been doing. So I started driving and kind of fell in love with it. Went and got my CDL and here I am. Wait, let me, you say shit water? That 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 <laughs> yeah. was it. That was in a tanker, well, right? Yeah. Okay. What? Yeah, you go get loaded with liquid shit and take it to the farmer's field, spray it around to help fertilize the crops for next year, and uh, yeah. It, you know, I you know <laughs> it's crazy the 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 stuff that that we drivers haul on a daily basis, man. So, shit, water. You 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 take it to you you take it to the. You, I, I'm assuming you take it to these farm places. And how did how was that distributed? Like, do do you like go up under up up under a machine that just sucks all the uh, all that out and then just spray it? on the crops or something like that or give give me a day in the life of a shit water driver <laughs> uh well you go pull under an auger and turn it on and it loads the shit water into your tanker go drive down the road to some farmer's field turn the pto on and it usually has a sprayer on the back of the truck watch your mirrors see how it spreads out Go back and another load, and come back and keep going on your line. Shit, water, damn. Now let me ask you this: What? Did, let me ask you this: <laughs> Did you have to? Did you have to? Uh, did Did you have to? You know, get out, uh, hook up the tanks, and stuff like that. Did you have to? In other words, did you have to touch the freight when when you was doing that? No. No, no. Oh, okay. No, no. Okay, because no, no. I, no I, I kind of, I kind of figured that makes for going home, uh, real awkward. I mean, that's how you know when I, I used to work at, <laughs> I used to work in a fish, in, in a fishery, uh, a fish market way back in the day. Uh, actually, I did do. Uh, I worked at two fish markets. One of them was the fish market at the finest grocery store, uh, and then somebody from an actual, you know, fish market came and, you know, they liked the way I worked and they was like, yo, I can offer you, you know, I can offer you a little bit more money if you come and work for us. And I was like, oh, okay. But yeah, but yeah, going home after a full eight hour day of cutting fish all day. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a very awkward smell to be coming home to. So, you know, the the little lady don't want you to touch her until you take that shower, bruh. They're like, no, nah, get your ass in the shower. You ain't touching me. Oh, you I ain't bet. kissing me. You ain't doing nothing smelling like fish up in this motherfucker right here. And I was like, damn it, man. Okay. All right. So how, um, so you say you, you started driving before you got your license. So you, you must've been driving for a, 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 a private person or something like that, that did they teach you actually how to drive the truck? Yeah, I was just driving on a little farm out here in Idaho. And as far as like teaching me how to drive, they pretty much just threw me in and told me to figure it out. You break the truck or you snap that tank, you're, you're done. Wow. So slow and figure it out. Okay. Wow. Okay. So driving, so driving farmers equipment, would, would you equate that to your training to what you're driving now? You know what I'm saying? You know, how to shift gears and stuff. Do you have to shift gears in a, in a farmer's equipment? No, they had automatics and I went to CR when I got my CDL. So it was automatics there and I'm still in an automatic now. I wish I would have known that, you know, testing in an automatic means you're restricted to an automatic. I yeah, would have yeah. done things a little differently. Yeah, unfortunate. Like, if you go now, did you go to school or did you go to a trucking school? I went to CR England, like up there in Salt Lake, and got my CDL. Mm, CR England. Yeah. 
That's a good taste in people's mouths. Mm, mm, mm. CR England, how how was how yeah. was the uh, how, how was the experience there? Now, did you go in? Let me ask you this: Did you go in uh, uh, with them when they was training two people at a time, or was you lucky enough just to get a solo trainer? I was lucky enough to get a solo trainer. But what? the overall experience with the whole thing was something out of a nightmare. Ooh, do tell. Do tell. Oh, <laughs> <Peter> England <laughs> hires some absolute winners. <laughs> Good Lord. You had to take a breath for this. You, you had to take a to breath for this. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to light a cigarette for this. God oh. damn it, man. But okay. I remember going to school. Uh-huh. <laughs> going to school with CR England, there was so many people in there, you know, watching people would try and learn how to back up. And there was a few people that couldn't even do a straight line back. I watched this old man straight jackknife the truck and trailer and almost hit the other trucks in the line mm-hmm. on, a, on a straight back. Went, what the hell? Mm. And those crazy bastards were still going to pass them. Let's give them a CDL. I'm very confident in that. Wow. So what about your, so what about yourself? You, you get your, you get your CDL, you, you got your CDL. Uh, the, the training part of, of now after you get your CDL, how was, how was that experience for you? And you said you had, you know, you were solo. So did the, did the trainer at that time was was respectable to you? For for the most part, uh, I think CR England could have used better judgment on partnering me up with somebody. Mm-hmm. Uh, they partnered me up with a Molly Mormon man, and I'm pretty provocative in every way, balls to the wall type of person. So mm-hmm. I guarantee you that man hated my guts. Did you did you finish out with him? I well, I finished training, and I think I only stayed with CR England for about three months before I finally threw in the towel and decided to go elsewhere. Man, did is CR is CR England coming after you for the uh for for the money for the for your CDLs? Because it, it looks as though it looks as though that CR England. Is is bringing you guys in, getting you guys licensed, but unfortunately along the way, whether it's money miles or 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 just problems overall, you guys is leaving CR England, and you know I guess CR England is just not getting the message of of what they can do, uh, what they can do better to keep. Uh, to keep you guys there, you know what I'm saying. Everybody over here screaming, uh, yeah. Everybody over here screaming, you know, driver shortage. But in theoretically, it wouldn't be no driver shortage if the company would just treat you right, right? Correct. Okay. Okay. Just treat people right. Get better equipment that actually runs and pay people not. Wages. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. So so far, after you, of course, you left CR England. So so far, has uh has uh has it been relatively smooth, or you 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 encountered you encountered some struggles along the way, other than the struggles that you had at uh CR England? Uh, not really. Since I left CR England, things have been pretty smooth. I went and joined an agricultural trucking company in my town that I live in. Mm-hmm. And I'm almost at two years of being employed by them. So. Okay. That's what's up. I that's like where I'm up. at. Hold on for a second. Okay. Okay. There we go. Whoops. All right, so you've been uh, so this so this is a local company. How did you? Is this local uh, that you're doing, or is this regional that you're doing? And how did you come by finding it? Currently, 
technically this is local, but we have an over the road division. Uh, I ended up finding it because my buddy that helped get me set up with drilling actually was working for this company as well. And when I came back from drilling and I had my CDL, he told me to come down to this company and turn in an application. So I did. Oh, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. Okay. Awesome. All right. So, uh, so I had, so of course, uh, you've been there for two years. So it's been relatively smooth there. The company's treat, you know, the tr company treating you good and all that good stuff. Oh yeah. I lucked out. I, this is a real small operation. I see my boss every, every morning, the owner of the company and his wife, his daughter works there, his daughter's husband, everybody knows each other. So Okay. Okay. That's what's up. That's what's it's up. It's pretty good. It's tight knit. All right. So, do you do you have any uh do you have any particular goals? What what is what is your what is your goals as a truck driver? You you have any, or are you still trying to figure it out? Well, I noticed that there's truck driving competitions that go on every mm -hmm. year, and I've entertained the idea of going and joining that and competing against other drivers and just getting my name out there and seeing how I do. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you, you sounded like you, the, the, the way you doing everything, you sounded like, uh, you sounded like a real, uh, a real hillbilly up out here, man. What do you like? Uh, do you, do you like do ATVs and shit like that? Like, I mean, what do you do in your free time? Like what's what 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 do rock rockabilly Barbie do in her free time? Um, recently I pretty much just get drunk and wander onto people's farms and buy random shit. <laughs> Not that long ago, I wandered onto some crackhead's farm and bought a pig. I was drunk. I brought it home. That was bad. <laughs> you say fuck it just that's about my life you say fuck it i'm just gonna go ahead and see what the fuck you doing on your farm god damn it man <laughs> all right so so with you <laughs> yeah pretty much it was like fuck you look like you got something interesting <laughs> so with you being a female <laughs> so with you being a female and you know female drivers get a lot of shit thrown at you since you've been out here, uh, you know, with shippers and receivers and stuff like that, how do you handle how how do you handle when other truck drivers discourage you? Um. Well, <laughs> uh, I try and have fun with it. If you can't laugh and joke and have a good time with it, then you got to do something wrong. Then you're doing something wrong. But all this and the truckers get on the TV and you see that little girl in that truck and. We'll get on the CD. What layer? Everything will go all nice and quiet. And, what the fuck, guys? <laughs> but most people are pretty shocked to see me. So how 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 tall are you? Like, what, what's your, how tall are you? I'm five ten. Wow. Okay. Okay. So you say some you say some drivers out here get shocked when they when when they see you up out here. What 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 type of what what type of shock factor that you can that you can remember that that one of the driver uh, came at you? Um, just lots of drivers like to give me shit and ask me where the man of the truck is. And ask me if I'm just babysitting the truck for my boyfriend or something like that. No, just me. But, but I guarantee you, I can outdrive you. <laughs> Try and get him to pull over. <laughs> oh, that's what's up. Rock about Billy, man. What what sets you apart from other drivers? Uh, what sets me apart from other drivers? Yeah. Uh, bright red hair, shitload of tattoos, and award winning personality. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. So you say you Clean got driving record. <laughs> so you say you got into the uh so you got into the tattoo life. You you got into you got piercings as well or just or or just tattoos. How how many tattoos that oh, you Oh yeah. Piercings, tattoos. Oh, okay. How many how many tattoos you 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 have on your body at this at this moment? 
I lost count somewhere for around 36. So you, you, damn. So you got like, I guess what they call it, sleeves or your whole arms is done, your, your back, your legs and all like that. I've, I've got almost an entire leg done, almost my entire left arm done, my hand, chest, stomach, hip, some other parts. Okay. But nothing that's like completed yet. I'm pretty close to finishing one of my sleeves. Okay, okay. What's the pain level? What what's the pain level getting all those tattoos? I'm not a good person to ask for that. I have an extremely high pain tolerance. I slept through every tattoo I've gotten. God damn it, man. Okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, again, back up again, you know, with the shock factor of you coming out of the truck, you know, tattooed down, uh, rock and roll, rock and roll uh, female driver out here. A have any of the have any of the truckers uh, try to, you know, try to come up on you, like try to throw game at you or something like that? Kind of, but I definitely wouldn't call it smooth game. It was <clears throat> pretty bad. Mostly I get shit to a lot of the places that I have to go deliver to. There's always some asshole that tries to come up and shoot his shot. It, it, nev it never works, huh? Not really. <laughs> they, they just don't use the best pickup lines. All right, so this is a good question to segue into. What what is your truck uh what is your trucking pet peeves out here? Trucking pet peeves would be Oh shit. Uh there's a few. People cutting me off. That's pretty much a no brainer. I hate seeing people not slow down and yield to like emergency parked vehicles. That shit pisses me off. Mm-hmm. Slow any, drivers. <laughs> any anything anything else? Well, that's about it. <laughs> All right, so you know, uh, you know, COVID season is still in effect, man. Uh, how did COVID affect uh, affect you and your driving life, your trucking life? It didn't. Oh, okay. So the company. If it wasn't for the news and everything else going on, I probably would have never figured it out. Oh, okay, okay. So the company, so the company keeps you busy then, pretty much. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, okay, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. Oh man. yeah. That's what's up. If you had to go back, if if you had to go back and start all over, would you would have got into trucking? Yeah, I would have. I think this is what I was meant to do. All right. If you couldn't get into trucking, what would have been a plan B for you? Oh, fuck. I don't know. Stripping? <laughs> you serious, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. You see the tattoo? <laughs> see... Me coming to see you just for the tattoos alone. <laughs> um, have you ever since you been, much. since you've been out here since you've been out here for you know the past couple of years? Have you ever been in a situation where you felt vulnerable because you because you're a female? Um, not really. I mean, I've there's been times where I regret to say that men on the road have decided to try and get into this fights with me or they've thought that I guess I lotioned my skin really well and they wanted to take me home shit like that alright so what extra precautions you take to protect yourself out here well uh, stay strapped or get clapped pretty much Oh. Okay, okay. The company that you drive for, they 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 don't mind you being uh you being tooled up on the on the truck. 
tool not made good, really. by the way. You just got to be responsible about it, you know? You don't go around flashing knives or guns or anything at people, but with everything I've been through, I'm, I'm not going to be left defenseless. That's what's up. I I give you a I give you hand claps for that. I definitely give you hand claps for that, one, man. You know because it's a lot of vulner, it's a lot of vulnerability out here uh, on y'all females. Y'all 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 take y'all y'all get a lot of shit thrown at you guys, and y'all take a lot of shit out here. Being that this is a male dominated industry, and you know you guys is just trying to get your foot in the door, and you just trying to you know just trying to make you know make way you know. So with that with that said, uh with that said, being that you've been a female, have you ever been dis uh discriminated against because you're a female driver? Not not really. I think a lot of the bigger trucking company com- eh, trucking companies and whatnot like the idea of female truckers. Mm-hmm. Like, it's something you don't see all the time, so it's kind of cool. Okay, okay, okay. Well, that's what's... I think, if anything, it gives you more of a foot in the door. That's what's up. That's what's up. rock a well, I'm saying rock a I'm, I'm thinking, you know, I got that, I, I got, uh, <laughs> I got New Jack City on my, on my mind when the, when the young lady keeps saying rock a baby, I mean, rock a baby. But you are... Rockabilly Barbie. Thank you very much for coming on to the show. Hold on. Thank you for having me. You very welcome. Thank you for uh thank you for agreeing to come on and uh telling your story and all like that. For for every for all the inspiring females that's that's that dependent uh that's uh that's coming out to the uh to the trucking world. What uh what kind of tips do you got? What kind what kind of tips do you got for uh for females that's uh that's coming out uh that's coming out here? Stay away from the larger companies, try and start out small, stay with a small knit company. And don't ever let them push you down. Don't ever let them push you around. If uh-huh. anything, get better than them and fucking stomp them to the ground with you driving. That is what's up. That is what's up. Rockabilly Barbie, thank you again for coming on to the show. I really do appreciate it. You definitely have a, a super blessed day. And uh, I will get back in contact with you after the show to, to, to get all the other criteria that I may need for you. And uh, you go ahead and get back on the road so we can get that shit water. Wait a minute. You don't do shit water no more, do you? <laughs> No. <laughs> no, no, <it's> commodities. <laughs> all right. Well, you take it easy, and uh, I'll get back with you. All right. All right. Sounds good. All right. You take it easy now. Stay safe out there, y'all. Rock, rock, rock a Billy Barbie. I want to thank her for coming on to the show today. If you guys want to come on and chop it up with Locked Out Men, you can do that. Yes, sir, you can do that. You can hit me up by Locked Out Men at uh, Locked Out Men Podcast at gmail.com. Or you can go over to the Instagram, hit me up in the DM over there and say, yo, I want to come on and uh, tell my story. And I'll be like, yo, come on and we'll rock out with you. You know what I'm saying? Yo, if you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. Hit that bell and that all button so you can get all of the content that comes out when I drop them. Uh, new calls, new MTC calls. These are the plugs, so listen carefully. New MTC calls will be every Wednesday. Uh, will be every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern. If you can't wait for the ev- individual calls, you can listen to all of the calls now on your favorite podcast platforms including the new amazon uh, podcast that just came out uh amazon just started their own podcast system uh last week so 
just go in, type in lockout men, and you can see all of the calls that I have made because I dropped all of them on Sun on this past Sunday. So you can listen without having to wait, uh, wait for every Wednesday to come out. Now, if you want to wait and watch the video and see my expressions, you can do that. You can do that. I'm just saying. But if you want to listen and see who I call, check it out. Lockout Men Podcast on your favorite podcast platforms. With that said, I appreciate all you guys being here. I appreciate everybody in the uh, in the Lockout Men community for this behind the scenes uh, behind the scenes situation. Miss Chicago BBW, as always, Trucker John. Teddy the Trucker, my man Wise Owl, and the West of you guys. Y'all take it easy. Y'all have a blessed day, and I'll come back at y'all with another video. Peace. Searching, 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 and searching, and searching.